Hi, welcome back. Uh, in the last tutorial, we repaired the fringe on this portrait shot, just over here. We added some hair, we used dark and blend mode, we tidied it up, we used a bit of masking, uh, played around with it, which uh, has improved uh, the look of that hairline there. But inside this hair, it's still looking a bit sort of flat and, and not bright and shiny. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things to do. Uh, if we drag that down and just copy the layer, you can do Command J, Control J if you want to. I'm going to rename this one and I'm just going to type in here uh, with two fingers of course and I'm going to type this one and call it hair so we we know what we're doing with this we're going to have a work with the hair and I'm going to change the blend mode to screen and you can see straight away in screen blend mode this lightens things up okay doesn't look fantastic just at the moment the face is blowing out as well uh, if you hold the alt or the option uh, key down and then click on the mask icon there it will give you an inverted mask so it just hides everything uh, we can paint on that mask with our usual favorite squishy soft brush at 30% opacity uh, in white of course because we're painting on the black uh, control plus plus just to make it a bit bigger so we can see what's going on here and I'm just going to paint in some of these brighter areas uh, just mouse down and just uh, brighten up some of these highlights in here nothing quite as exciting as watching somebody painting Photoshop on the internet is there but uh, just to show you that you can actually bring uh, these highlights back in with some very simple uh, techniques here in Adobe Photoshop. So there we go. Uh, let's have a look at the before and after. We just click on the icon next to there and we've added some shine. Uh, not brilliant shine of course, but some shine. We've got our sliders, so what you're going to do, you're going to slip and slide around in those sliders, slide it up and down uh, uh, to taste. Uh, whatever you su uh, suits you. We've also, because we've been playing a mask, we can actually play with a mask. And if you want to brighten up the whole image, we can take down the density of that mask. I know, <laughs> so much you can do in this Photoshop. Uh, we can take the density of the mask down. Uh, let's go back in and let's call up a brightness contrast adjustment layer. I'm going to sit that over the top here. Uh, nothing's happening at the moment because we've done nothing to it. And it's in normal blend mode. You can see that there. I'm going to take a snapshot of this, which little camera icon down at the bottom there, and of course I'm going to rename it and tippy tap and type away. I'm going to call this one screen because it's going to remind me that's the screen blend mode we used on that one. I'm going to click back on this one here, just reduce that uh, history state, and I'm going to work on our brightness and contrast layer. Let me just click on here and get this open. So I'm going to increase the brightness. You can see overall that it's a global brightness, but I'm going to also bring up the contrast a bit. And you can see there we're getting uh, some darker areas. We're also getting the highlights are nicely getting nice and shiny. One of the problems, of course, is we're getting a bit of color shift in there as well. Uh, so uh, Alt, uh, Invert, uh, sorry, Control I, and we can invert that mask like that, turn it to black. And we can do the same thing. Let's just go up in size a bit. Control plus plus, command plus plus. Let's go in and paint with a white soft brush again. Again with our 30%. We're painting on those little highlight bits to bring some shine into that hair. I'm using a great big brush. Let's just reduce it in size a bit. Work on there. Work on the highlight areas. And just uh, you know, bring that highlight detail back into the hair. I know it's very exciting watching somebody paint in Photoshop. Uh, but just to show you that uh, you can target areas with the brush and uh, increase the shine in there. A bit ropey there, I'll have to go and retouch that in there. But uh, let's go and uh, see. Let's go back out to Control O, Command O. That'll take you down to a normal screen. And there you go. Let's take another snapshot of that one. And I'm going to call this one normal it's because it's normal blend mode uh, and what I want to do with you now is to actually change the blend mode of this uh, brightness contrast layer and I'm going to change it to luminosity you see straight away the color shift that we introduced by having it in normal blend mode has gone let's have a look in there normal blend mode ve quite red and if we go to luminosity and look at the light values much better and of course you've got your opacity slider. Slide around your opacity shot slider there. I think that's giving you a better result than the screen blend mode. You might want to work in screen blend mode. Uh, there's no slides involved, just a bit of painting. Uh, so you've got some glossy hair going on. Let's take a snapshot again. I'm going to let you guess what this is. This is going to be a luminosity, of course, because we use the luminosity blend. So it's just a little reminder there just to, uh, well, remind you basically. <laughs> 
idea what you've been doing in these different snapshots. So we saw that with screen, it was okay. Uh, we looked at normal, a uh, bit of a color shift, normal blend mode with a brightness contrast, but then we shunted the brightness contrast adjustment layer into luminosity blend mode and we got a pretty decent result there. So we've added shine into there. Don't forget, you've got your sliders to slide around in. We can go in there, take it all the way down, and just bring it up, and it's all to taste. Whatever suits your style of processing, just put a bit of shine in there uh, using Photoshop. Uh, okay, that's been uh, me for the moment. Uh, until the next time, of course, it's uh, bye for now.